Hi YouTubers, this is Dan Downey from Downey Contracting. Back at actually one of my home improvement centers. I'm sitting in the parking lot about ready to go in. And we're gonna go and take a look at some of the stuff that we're gonna need for our list for the next customer we're working on. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Um, I can't really see the screen that well without my glasses off. I'm getting older, but that's life. We've got some tools in the back as usual. That's the way it works with uh, tools are in Downey Contracting, but it's all good. So today we're going to talk a little bit about um, construction practices in South Florida and in other places as well. Uh, one of the issues that we always come across is trying to find somebody you can trust and try to find somebody that you can uh, see if you can have a little bit of faith that they're going to do the proper thing for you. And I go into a lot of detail with that with my introductory video. But this time I just wanted to go into a little bit of information about um, uh, the character of who you're gonna hire you know you really want to hire some people that have some character and have some knowledge of what's going on um, so what I'm gonna try to do with our website is to let you guys understand excuse my shirt here understand how stuff works because the more we can enlighten you as far as construction goes uh, the more you're gonna feel comfortable about what we can do for you one of the things I really enjoy is teaching my customers if they're interested a lot of them are some aren't they just want it done you know just fix it and make it go away other customers want to know uh, the process either way that's fine with me as a matter of fact I enjoy teaching people how to do these repairs and teach them a little bit about structural stuff I really get into uh, the engineering of structural uh, buildings and how things work and why things work especially in South Florida because uh, you know, we, we deal with two issues structurally. We deal with, of course, the load, which is the load that would be, you know, a roof truss and a roof system on top of a, a wall, particularly. But we also deal with uh, shear loads, uh, of loads going sideways because of hurricanes and up, because as a wind goes across a roof system, it actually can act like a wing, like on an airplane because an airplane flies from negative pressure, if you do a little bit of study on that, as the wind goes over the wing, it's the negative pressure that pulls the, the wing up and your roof is basically a pretty big wing. So as the wind flies over the top of the roof, you're gonna have positive pressure where it's got the positive slope and on the other side, you've got negative pressure and that's how those tiles fly off or the shingles fly off. They don't fly off because they got blown off. They fly off because they got sucked off. Because you've got a huge amount of negative pressure if you, if you have enough wind pushing on that side of the roof. Uh, something to think about. So, same thing with windows. When you look at windows on a house, you're looking at positive and negative pressures. And as an inspector, you, do, you learn to read the plans that if the wind is blowing towards a house, there's going to be a certain amount of positive pressure, maybe 80 pounds of per square foot of pressure going against that window while on the opposite side you've got a, a vacuum um, it sounds uh, you know in your head you don't see these things you don't see these forces going on but they're going on they're absolutely going on and those negative pressures cause a negative vacuum so a window will actually pull out instead of being blown in I think in hurricanes you know people think that everything is positive pressure things hitting your house a lot of the time the most damage is done by negative pressure so things for you guys to think about so um, I'm Dan Downey this is Downey contracting and tools are and uh, construction talk.com we're here to put together videos for you guys to be um, enlightened about how stuff works with construction and that's why we're here all right and we'll have more videos to come thank you and thank you for watching let's get to it bye